Yo, what's up guys, it's Ohio, and today I have for you my solo battle rewards for week 2. And I did place higher this week than I did last week, but that is because EA changed the way the divisions work and the rewards you get. Before it was Elite, then the Top 100, and now it goes Elite Ultimate, then the Top 100. So if you're outside of the Top 100, you can still get some okay rewards. I ended up finishing outside of the top 100 because of a loss and I was actually on track to finish inside of the top 100 with my scores and the loss basically kept me out of it and that's kind of how it works if you lose a game you pretty much won't make it unless you're scoring like you know top 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 tier every game and you just lose one game I could see you making it into like the bottom bracket maybe 75 to 100 if you're scoring the most possible, like 25k a game or something like that. But I'm not really at that level yet. I'm still grinding. I'm going to be still working on trying to get better scores and trying to get better rewards so you guys can see them. And the red zone and touchdown pack is kind of cool because you can either choose a quick sell or choose a pack. And I end up choosing the pack because I do YouTube and I want you guys to be able to see the rewards and... Hopefully if I get something crazy, then it'll be cool for the video. But I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing this. I might end up taking the quick sells because it's smarter to do that because the rewards aren't really that good out of packs. Potentially you can pull some crazy stuff, but I just don't really ever have any luck. And I always skip out on the quick sells and I lose coins. But I'm thinking of just grabbing the quick sells and then at the end of the video buying a player or doing something with it like buying training and upgrading someone on my team or something so you guys can still see that it's going towards progress on my team so let me know what you guys think about that I'm pretty sure when you choose the red zone pack instead of the 25k quick sell you're choosing a elite pack that's what I would equate it to but I have seen people open the red zone pack and not get an elite I'm pretty sure I've seen that but maybe I'm wrong. I think it's an elite pack or maybe it's a gold premium equivalent. And then the touchdown pack is basically the elite fantasy pack that we opened in the beginning of the year. The 150 point one. And it just gives you an option of three elites. And of course I pulled the highest and 82. So obviously I should have picked the 75k but you know I do this for you guys. But let me know if you guys really care about that. If you really want to see the pack then I'll keep picking the pack, but if you guys want me to maximize my coins and you want me to take the coins, then I'll do that, and then I'll just show you some team progression at the end of the video. But you can see here I took my series trophies that I got, and I put it in the defensive Nat player pack, and I was expecting to get somewhere between an 80 and an 83 overall, and I actually pulled a really good player. I was surprised to get a guy that high, and... He actually probably will start for me at some point. I just have to get the training to upgrade his base power-up and then get him to an 87. But that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you my solo battle rewards for week two. And I'm going to be working harder to get better rewards for week three. Keep an eye out for my next video. It's going to be about Mutt Rewards. I'm actually in the highest tier possible, and I did it with no money spent. So if you guys are curious about that, that's going to be the next one. I just want to thank you guys for watching, come back for more Madden 19, and I will see you in the next video.